Hey guys, it is Tuesday, January 5th. I've got eight eBay orders to ship out, and after that, I'm heading to meet up with somebody to buy some inventory. It's the same woman I bought some stuff from a couple weeks ago on that private pick. Um, she had a lot more stuff to sell. She sent me a lot of pictures, and for the most part, it looks like good stuff. Um, so I don't know what all is there, but I'm gonna go check it out. She doesn't wanna be filmed, so after I buy it all, I'll show you guys what I got. All right, let's get to work. First thing shipping out is this Harley Davidson t-shirt. I got this at a garage sale. I guess it's been like two months ago now. It was like this and a bunch of other Harley pieces for like a dollar a piece. It was really cheap. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Let's go and ask if you name Andy. They say, hey John, fellow Ohioan here. We love your videos and I've learned so much from you and we love your positivity and your humble nature. Saw this shirt in your store and had to have it. Happy New Year from our reselling family to yours and we wish you the best of luck in 2021. Keep living the dream. Thank you so much for the support. I wish you nothing but the best of luck too. Next order has two things. First is... In this big box right up here this is a big lot of nfl starting lineup figures there's a total of 30 of them i got all these from kevin the tennessee picker and somebody reached out wanting to buy all of them uh, so we did a deal for 99 dollars free shipping and that same buyer got a t-shirt let's see right here Beavis and Butthead, they sent an offer on this one for $15 plus shipping, and I accepted. All this stuff's going out to your name, Randy. Randy, thank you for the continued support. I really appreciate it. Next thing are some cycling shoes that I picked up from the Piqua resellers, Danny and Parker. Uh, let's see here. They're in a black box. I think I put them in before I did my new inventory. Let's see. I think that's them right there. So let's move these PlayStations out of the way. These are new in the box. They're part of a bulk buy, so I've got about $15 into them. These sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a belt buckle in C42. It is a Harley Davidson. Also something I got from the Pickle Resellers. Got about $2 into that. That sold for $17.99 free shipping. All right, we're on a roll with stuff I've got from Danny and Parker. Uh, one more thing I got from those guys. Uh, this is a GE uh, water filter for a refrigerator that sold for $34.99 free shipping. Next is on B2 right here. This is kind of a unique thing. It is a portable like camp shower. This is something I got in that private pick a few weeks back. Got $5 into that, sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing I'm shipping out is something that I listed yesterday. I listed a whole bunch of diecast cars and one of them sold. It is this one i believe yeah kenny schrader team caliber it's the m m's vote car i got this from that online auction i've got right around six dollars into it sold for 19.99 plus shipping all right guys every video i try to show you one thing that i pack this week it is going to be this die cast car we're going to start with some bubble wrap All right, that should be nice and protected. And we are gonna ship this in a priority mail shoebox. So I don't think there's even like a code for this. It's just shoebox. Most post offices have these. If not, you can get them on USPS.com. I just ordered like 50 or so because I use this box a lot. These die casts fit perfectly in here. There's a little bit of space in there. So we're gonna go ahead and take some newspaper print. Just for some extra padding. That's good to go. All right, all the orders are packed up. But before I hit the road, I got a couple of viewer questions I want to answer. First is from Champer Slimmerthanon. Probably mispronounced that. I'm sorry. Do your bats move well? I bought some nice wood bats new. Nobody has barely looked at them. I do sell bats pretty well. But this is not a good time of year to sell them. Uh, I, if you bought them any time from like the summer or afterwards, it probably makes sense that they haven't sold yet because baseball season is starting up around March, April. So typically, you know, like mid to late February, some of the bats will start selling. I will randomly still sell some, you know, to some of the warmer states, but usually I, I sell a lot of bats between like mid-February to like mid-March. So just hang on to them. They should sell hopefully before springtime as long as your prices are competitive. But yeah, I love selling bats. I find them all the time and they're usually pretty cheap. Next is from Terry Bonham. Love your channel. Learned so much. Question, is your main area heated? Okay, so Terry is talking about my office space right in here. I'll take you guys in and show it to you. So there is a heater 
up here against the wall and I've used it from time to time but it's not very cost effective and it gets really hot actually it works a little too well and since I've recently you know moved my racks around I'm blocking that heater now and I've just got this little heater right here which works perfectly it's not too hot it just does the right amount of heat in here all right last is from dragon overlord gaming okay so i have a local antique mall just like you do i would like to ask you a couple questions about having a booth at one do they sell well item wise do the items have to be antiques or wood gaming things and whatnot work well do you experience stuff from there that is my largest worry on a place like this I've seen some with the better items in glass cases, but if the booth comes empty, I would rather not spend a ton at first setting one up. Okay, so your first question, do things sell well? Yeah, stuff does pretty well in my booth. Every antique mall is different, and you know, depending on what part of the country you're in, different things are gonna sell well. So before you even buy a booth, I would shop around the mall, see what's selling, you know, see what the booths look like, talk to the people that run it, like, hey, what types of things sell in here? So see if it's a good fit for you first. Second question, uh, do the items have to be antiques? Some of them they do. Some antique malls, you can't put, you know, newer things in there. It's gotta be like a certain age. Some of them they don't care. You can have brand new stuff in the plastic and it doesn't really matter to them. My booths, I put a lot of vintage stuff in there occasionally i'll put you know like a new bobblehead in the box stuff like that but for the most part it's a lot of vintage stuff um as far as gaming things working well it could uh, you know depending on the mall i think a lot of people that play video games probably don't shop antique malls maybe i don't know I mean, they might just get that stuff online so you could give it a shot uh video games typically sell really quick and fast on ebay so i always put my stuff on ebay you know my video game stuff okay last question do you experience theft uh personally i've never had anything stolen i know people that have had stuff stolen they do have security cameras but i try not to put anything in my booth that somebody could just put in their pocket uh, everything's pretty small and i also don't put anything incredibly valuable in there you know i don't have any gold rings or you know i don't think i have anything priced over like 100 bucks in my booth so most of my stuff's pretty big. Somebody would be seen walking out with it. And if it got taken, you know, it's probably only like $20 anyway. So not a big deal. If you guys have any questions for me, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them in a future video. All right, let's hit the road. guys i am loaded up back there there are some houseware some pokemon cards some cool stuff for my antique booth i'm really happy with what i got i paid 250 dollars i'm going to show you guys everything i got but first i'm actually pretty close to piqua so i'm going to go see danny and parker the pickle resellers danny says he has some stuff for me i have some stuff for him too there's this he-man toy there's another like he-man accessory stuff i bought a lot of uh toys from him I guess it's been a couple weeks now and i think there was a couple things in the stuff that he sold me that he wanted to keep so i'm taking that back to him and there's a big box of baseball and like sports cards and what i just bought so he's probably gonna take a look at that because i know he likes to buy baseball cards hey, hey. what's Hello. happening what's up? Hey, oh, what i found i didn't have no clue <sighs> what i leave for those don't worry about it all right, I'm yeah, gonna bring in that big fun. box of cards. There's your tub. Oh, cool! It's yeah. Stuff you forgot. Yep. I already put up that um, mountain thing up for auction. Do these go with it? No. Yeah, those go to the Skeletor thing. They and do. There's a snake, like a snake piece. Okay. It went to it because it was complete. Yeah. Nice, all that. Where did you get all these? This is what I had. Jeez. Hey, I yeah. even went through the stuff I had on eBay. Yeah. I just done with it. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't even know he had this many games until he put it off. Holy cow, man. Are these oh. all those old books? Yeah. Awesome. Pleasant Cove stories. That Coke one, which is on the bottom. Uh huh. No, you don't like have to dig it out. That's like super rare. Is it? It varies, yeah. No. Yeah, I was upstairs at the house. Oh, there's hey. some newer ones too. There's Sunny Gray. Be nicer. There's some 89s with the Griffey. Right. Pretty neat. I don't know if those are teens or some newer Bowman. I don't know if it was a shirt, shorts, or mat. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. Uh, I saw that one. I was wanting the turtles, but it's a little higher than I, I want. Found some more yearbooks. 
I did a couple. On a Barbie? <laughs> now I got that with the, the book lot. Yeah. But yeah, there was a uh, this couple, and then I don't know if this. I didn't look them up. I Great Awakening them. revival songs. Yeah, man, I love oh, all the books. Yeah, see, I brought tubs. I haven't gone through anything yet, but. All right, so if I trade you the trading cards, what do you need for the stuff? 200. I'll say 250. Okay, you want to try that again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. I appreciate it, man. Oh, no problem. I'll find room somewhere. That thing there you go, sir. Go eat. All right, guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I spent a total of $500 today. I paid the pickle resellers $250 and I traded that big box of cards for all the games that you saw. And then I paid $250 for the other stuff that I just bought before then, which I haven't filmed yet. So I'll walk through all this stuff and show you guys what I got. Okay, so everything here is what I got in that first buy. Pay $250. A lot of it's gonna go to the antique booth. Like some of these type of things. I got a couple of different mail, little things like that. Here's an old stereo, Motorola. I thought these were really cool. Vintage drinking glasses. It says HA, which I think is Hazel Atlas. It could be Anchor Hawking, but I think that's Hazel Atlas. With the carrier too, that's just awesome. Colony in good taste. I think these are cassettes. Yeah. I think there's a lot of country cassettes and there's more on this side too. Monster Nash, Shearwood. Boys to Men, that's pretty cool. There's Hootie. Kenny Rogers, Lionel Richie, another Hootie, Led Zeppelin tribute. Got a lot of um, silver plate stuff. I'm not sure if it's all silver plate or just kind of look like silver plate. There's a cook pitcher, another mail piece. Let's see what we got down here. More cassettes. Oak Ridge Boys, BB King, Dave Matthews Band. I believe this is a clarinet. Selmer CL300. Got some perfume. Elizabeth Arden Red Door. It's like a whole set lotion and hydrating cream. This is a uh, VHS organizer. Let's see what's in here. Walkie talkies with chargers. Got some Ninja Turtle stuff, dinosaur, looks like some Pyrex refrigerator dishes, glass insulators. Here's the lids for the insulators, or the dishes. Back in here, more Pyrex. Got a genuine Sony battery, that's pretty cool. Presto Salad Shooter, uh, SanDisk Memory Card, a DS in there. Looks like the hinge is broke, unfortunately. But yeah, it's like a first generation DS. Let's see, what is this? Hansel and Gretel Bunt Pan. That's pretty cool. Looks like somebody was trying to get 254 at a garage sale. This right here is what I think will end up being the best part of the buy. There's a lot of Pokemon cards. I mean a lot of them. So here's a big bag right here. Just right there, there's probably 500 or so. And then we got more down here. It's a little thermos decanter, that's cool. We got some Pokemon handbooks. These are all just empty boxes, I think. Yeah, those all feel empty to me. I'm not sure if empty boxes like this are worth anything, but I might auction them off and see. We got a whole bunch more Pokemon right here, and then all this is Pokemon cards. So there are a ton of Pokemon cards. I'd say at least three or four thousand. I mean, there's so many in here. These are, I guess, like pack inserts or something. Built stickers and little punch out cards. I do not know a lot about Pokemon cards, so I'm going to be auctioning these off. Probably like a lot, a hundred each, you know, and I'll probably. Take lots of pictures and maybe include a little video in each auction. So if you guys have any interest in these, I will put a link down below in the description for my eBay store. There's a number five Chanel bottle of perfume. Under that box, we've got some hats, card shuffler. I think there's some Wii games down in there. This is 
is interesting. I think you put rolls of like wax paper and stuff in there and it holds it all together. I don't know if that's Tupperware or what this is, but kind of cool, different. Here is a Nesco percolator with the box. Back here is an old ironing board. That's definitely gonna go to the antique booth. Got some random camera stuff, Rolodex. Head covers for golf clubs, more trading cards. This box we've got some camera bags. There might be a camera on this one. Like a leather piggy bank. Some leather stuff in here. These look like maybe overalls. Old etch a sketch. That's pretty cool. Let's see. This is. Cadillac bag, possibly for a spare tire. I'm guessing that's what that's for. Or maybe it's just a garment bag. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not for a tire. I think this is a garment bag. Let's see, we got D Tasks military bag, more Pyrex, Nyko chargers, a couple of hard hats. These can bring a little bit sometimes. Super glass. Have a pretty neat look to them. Some 8 track tapes, Polaroid camera, some DS games. Here's a whole box of horror VHS. Screen 3, Panic Room, Mummy, Six Cents. I've done really well with horror VHS tapes, so I'll probably do a big auction lot for these. Samsung Gear VR headset. Some Peppa Pig toy Lincoln Logs. I think that's more Lincoln Logs. Betty boot bag. That's pretty cool. And whatever this is. Oh, wow. Look like astrology tokens or something. There's seven of them. That's different. Overall, I'm really happy with what I got. There's definitely some work to be done, but I think there's also some good money to be made. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.